Nathan. And we're here today to talk about doing math with pandas. If that sentence makes no sense to you, don't worry. You can go check out our previous videos to kind of get up to speed about what we're going to be doing here today. But basically, we're going to be cleaning up data and getting doing some simple statistics with a pandas data frame. And don't worry. It's going to be a lot easier than the math behind us. Pandas will help us out. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're going to import pandas as PD, like we have in previous videos, and then we're going to load a data frame and call it DF um, from a file, uh, which we've saved also in a previous video. Um, so some of the, basically, um, when we instantiated our data frame originally, we created a large, empty data frame to make things faster and, and a little bit simpler. Um, but what the result of that is, is we ended up having a lot of empty rows or not with non-values in it. So and let's get rid of those first with a df.dropna. Um, so this is drop, not a number, essentially. And inside of here, we're going to do an inline or in, in place, place. Tr equals true. This is just so we don't have to be df equals this. Otherwise, it'll return a subset, essentially. Um, so from here... We're just going to look at some basic math, basic statistics of uh, our data frame right now. So, so let's try a df dot mean. Or I'm sorry, we'll we'll, we'll select a column um, from our data frame. You can see we have city price lat long. So why don't we do df dot price, um, and then we'll do a dot mean in parentheses. And there you can see that the mean of our data set is $878 for an iPhone, a used iPhone. Yeah, so if, if you don't remember, this is for an iPhone off of Craigslist. So not new, not recent. So probably some incorrect data in here. I agree. So if we do a df.price.median, we get an actual middle value of wow. all of our data. So our data is around 8,000 data set, data points. Um, so this is probably more accurate at this point. Yeah, you, so, you can really see how a, a outlier value can really skew your mean. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, let's go find those outliers. So what we're going to do next is sort our value, sort our prices by, uh, price, sort our values by price. And we're just going to look at just the city and the price values at this point, um, just to clean up what it looks like. We don't really care about the latitude and longitude at this point. So that's what the first brackets is for, city and price. And then we're going to do a dot sort values. Inside of here, we're sorting it by price. By default, this does it by ascending order. And so we just want the top values at this point. So we'll do a dot tail. And let's grab the last 30. What do you say? Yeah, sounds okay. good. So we'll go ahead and hit that, and look at that. You can see we have uh, Start off at 5:30 here, and whoa! Suddenly we're up into the four wow. digits, all the way up into the seven digits here. Jeez, Harrisonburg, Virginia. There's a five million dollar iPhone. That's uh, yeah, seven digits. Cheap. though. that sounds awfully a lot like. Oh, a phone that's number. a phone number. Okay. So of course it's Craigslist. So other people also put in one, two, three, four, five, and one, 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 one. Huh. Um, most likely these values are not quite accurate. Um, and so we're going to just drop off all the values that are Cl extreme yeah. in this case. So as you can see, it jumps from 650 to $1,000. Maybe so at about 1000 Yeah. We're going to cut off everything above 1000 Okay, so let's do, um, we're just going to reassign this data frame to itself, I guess, uh, by subselecting df.price. Only values less than a thousand. You can put any boolean statement in here with your uh, data frame to get any sort of uh, cool. subset, and we're just setting it back to df. So our new data frame. Let's see what the mean is. Yeah, let's, let's see that. Oh, I should probably just subselect the price column, but you can see if you use the mean method on the whole data frame, you get a, um, a mean value for each column in that data frame. But there you go, df.price.mean, the and mean of that is 179. And just before we go too much farther, let's also look at uh, the head of our sorted value, just to make sure we don't have any too extremely low values. So okay. how about uh, the um, df? Yeah, I'll just let's copy, copy what I had before. 
And we're just going to do a head. This will give us the low end values. So we'll just do a head instead. There we go. And some of them are fifty dollars is our starting point. A lot That's of fifty dollar phones. Probably reasonable since there's so many at this point, and they're old phones. Given that some of them might be cracked and damaged and everything, that's reasonable. That is, yeah. I think we're good on that front. Yep. Um, so f we looked at our me meeting. Um, so we looked at our mean, and that was 179.99. So let's also look at our median, see if that changed much. Huh? Also 180. Still so 180. So that didn't change because we only dropped about 20 values out of our 8,000 or so. So. And just to just to prove to ourselves that um, we we did we actually did actually those. get rid of those. Do another tail. Hit that of our sorted prices, and sure enough, we lost all our extreme values. Wow, great! So, just to do some other statistics. Yeah, one thing that lots of people love is standard deviation. <laughs> The way to do this in uh, pandas is you can... Some people might not consider love of standard deviation <laughs> as much as others, but... Um, but you might, so that's why we're here. Uh, DF.price, we'll do an STD. No, we're not that type of STD. STD is in standard. Uh, hit that, and you can see our standard deviation for the price column is 62. Um, and if you know much <clears throat> about standard deviation with Gaussian distributions... Three standard deviations should get you close to most of your values. I believe it's about 98, 99%. Okay. Um, so we're going to display those two bounds. So to do that, we just got to add our mean and Take our the mean. Okay. But our price of mean. Right. We don't um, need those latitude longitude means. <laughs> that's true. And then we'll minus three times df dot price dot std. Whoops. Um, an extra in there. Do I? There we go. Perfect. And we'll mm -hmm. copy this to get our upper bound. That's our lower bound since we're subtracting three standard deviations. And sure enough, we get minus seven and 366 for our bounds for our three standard deviations. So that sounds fairly reasonable. That sounds reasonable, yeah. So I don't know. To me, I mean, doing it, the math is nice, but it's also nice to visualize. So we'll show you a little bit of how to do that um, here. Pandas does have some simple plots and everything. Yeah, so to be able to, we're going to introduce another bit of um, IPython or Jupyter Magic. And this one is matplotlib inline. So you start it off with that percent sign and do a matplotlib inline. And this will display any sort of matplotlib uh, plots that you make in your data frame right in line in the notebook. And this gives you a little uh, underlying knowledge of pandas. The plots in pandas are actually matplotlib created. Good things. point. Yeah, good point. Um, so let's just do a simple df.price and we're just going to do um, a histogram. So the method for that is dot hist. You don't have to specify any arguments or keyword arguments. We'll just do hit that. And it spits out a, a, a nice looking um, matplotlib histogram. Mm -hmm. So each of these bars is quantity of how many values fall in that range. And as you can see, <clears throat> our bounds as we got before were minus seven dollars to three sixty six, I believe. Um, that looks like most of our values actually fall in there. That's that's about right. You know these. These blocks are a little bit coarse for my liking. One thing you can do is specify the number of bins. So we're going to do bins equals 50. We'll try that. Hit that up, and you can see that that gives you a little bit more gives a little bit more character uh, to the data. Like you can see, for instance, that a lot of people put their iPhone on the market for $200. So that's, that's kind good. of a little bit of uh, just ways to look at the data. Nice. So so with that, we're going to save our data just so we save our cleaned up data um, as we showed you last time you can just do a quick df dot two underscore csv and then put your file name in there we'll just call this df uh, underscore clean dot uh, csv and hit enter 
now we have and our data for next time. Next time uh, we're going to actually look at plotting this on the U.S. So great. join us. Thanks for joining us. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time. Okay.